Hi everybody, I am Alexander Efremov and I am going to talk about CLAD, a Clang plugin for automatic differentiation. And I have been collaborating on this project with Vasil Vasiliev and Oksana Shadura from CERN during Google Summer of Code this year. So at first I'm going to introduce to you what is automatic differentiation and what is our motivation for using it. So the main idea for using it is gradient based optimization. So let's say you have some mathematical function and you want to minimize it. So a typical algorithm for that would start at some point and it would iteratively co converge to the minimum based on the directions defined by your gradient. And it has a lot of applications in different engineering fields. I think most famous currently is backpropagation and deep learning. So you have your function and for that you need to compute your gradient somehow. So what are you going to do if you don't want to say compute it manually by hand? If you have a single expression for your function, you can feed it to some symbolic differentiation tool let's say Maple or Mathematica, and then you are cool, but what if you don't have it? What if your function is somehow complex? Or typically you have some algorithm which computes it for you. Let's say you have some code which you parameterize and you are combining these codes, or you have some loops or recursion. Then you can use numerical approximation methods, but they are imprecise and you get just precision loss. So in that case, automatic differentiation is what you want to use. And automatic differentiation does exactly that for some algorithm. Let's say for C++ code, it produces another code which computes your derivative with the same precision as the original function. And there are several ways how to implement it. One is to introduce special type which overloads arithmetic operations and another is to directly inspect source code. And that's what Cl Cl Clang is good for. And then you're, of course, interested in how efficient is it and can we really use it? Can we really use its output? And there are nice results which says, which say, yeah, it is actually quite a good efficiency of the derivative. So there are two modes how you can, you can compute it. For the forward mode, you can specify a single variable and compute a directional derivative. So you start at your variable and you recursively promote the derivatives towards the result. And what is nice, your derivative function has at most two and a half times more arithmetic operations. And another thing is reverse mode, which starts at the return value and it promotes the derivatives towards your input variables. So then you have the whole gradient. And what is really nice, you just have at most four times more arithmetic operations independently of how, how many inputs you have. So how we are doing it in CLAD, we can take any input function, you don't have to modify it and it doesn't have to be a template. We feed it to Clang and Clang internally parses it and produces AST. So then we visit this AST with a statement, statement visitor and we apply simple mathematical rules for each arithmetic operations and some other less trivial things for, let's say, data structures and assignments. And then in the end, we give that derivative AST to the code gen, and we have another C++ function which computes the derivative for you. <coughs> so how you can use it? You just have some function. You call CLAD differentiate on it, and during the compile time, our plugin detects it, and does all the compile time processing and then you get another function defined for you and you can use it as the usual C++ function or you can just copy paste it to another text file and then modify it further. Maybe you want to optimize it for your specific architecture or anything else. So the current state is that we support forward and reverse mode but only for some subset of C++ constructs and it is available as a standalone plugin for Clang, but also we have integrated it into Root's data analysis framework based on Clink C++ interpreter. And in future, we are going to support C++ in general, and we want to be able to derive code for GPU, let's say OpenCL and CUDA, and we want to implement some advanced features of the automatic differentiation. So the code is on GitHub, and you can find it there. 
So thank you for your attention.